All right, how are you all feeling today? Good, Great. Y'all looking good. good. Thank, Thank you. Likewise. How does it feel to have this movie out and just the the reception so far and just the vibration of like this is a new project that is out? How is that resonating with you all? Uh, it's super validating, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a, like an overwhelming amount of positivity yeah. and kind of for myself, seeing the journey of this from the beginning and seeing where it has come to now has been nothing that I ever fantasized about. Because mm. uh, I'm very much like, live in the moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so to see the constant amount of good that keeps coming from this from the beginning has just given me, honestly, this is a little deep, but like, it has like given me more like faith in humanity. I'm just yeah. like, oh, yeah. like there, there's so much that you can get from life. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm in the, the best mood ever. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. It That's feels right. really good. Um, it, the this movie felt like a labor of love. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of us were kind of like, kind of roughing it um, on this independent um, film. But something about going to work every single day with people that I'm obsessed with, yeah. um, it was just that in and of itself was such a rewarding experience. Like I walked away with six other friends. Right. It's wild. Um, but now we get to share this with the entire world. Yeah. And so it's kind of, it's, it's really nice. I'm super excited. I mean, like I know a lot of people haven't really seen it yet. You know, uh, everyone can watch it June 16th yes. in theaters. Yes. Super excited about that. Um, but it's kind of like everyone's little baby. And now everyone kind of gets to be a part of our group chat yeah. and um, share this fun, wonderful project with yes. us. Yeah. Super dope, super dope. And then you, Melvin. Yeah, it's an ideal situation going into an independent film. You never know what it's going to be. Right. You know, you, know um, you can just hope for the best. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what we got here, even, you know, more so than I could have expected. Um, super proud, super happy to have been a part of this film. And I'm excited for people to see it. I feel like in a selfless way too, not even just to see me in a movie, but just because of what the movie says, what it stands for, what it does for the culture, how it pushes us forward in a new, um, new inventive way. And I feel like it will open up doors in how we're casted in films and what type of films are sold and which type of films are made and written. So uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just excited for the world to see it and even more excited and blessed to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm excited it's a part of the horror genre. Like, I'm yeah. gonna add that to my collection of movies that I always need to watch. I yeah. have a collection. <laughs> That's added watchable. once, it, once yes. I can put I've it to my- I've seen four times and I have to see yeah. it two or three more times and mm -hmm. I will see yeah. it through each time. Yeah. It's a phenomenal film. I'm really excited yeah. about it. Okay, so speaking of culture, in what ways could, because this is a very culture heavy film, all the things that, you know, melaninated people, black people love, hey, what we don't do in uh, horror films. Um, in what ways could other cultures properly congratulate the melaninated culture for all of our contributions to all things? Acknowledgement. Think, mm -hmm. You know, you could you could partake in it and appreciate it and love it. That's why we create it. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's you know it's for everyone to enjoy but not exploit. Yeah. Right. Um, so just appreciate it and, and credit it where it's due. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just think that there is just absorb it. Like take it. Create it for yourself, like make it known that like this is universal. Yeah. Like see the humanity in blackness. Mm -hmm. uh, don't mm -hmm. see it as niche. Right. Like, I watch mm -hmm. a lot of films mm -hmm. and I don't necessarily watch films and be like, oh, this, this is, is what like this culture is. Right. I'm like, this mm -hmm. is an example of a very specific set of characters right. that mm -hmm. is showing me a certain kind of life. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and so watching this and taking it in to help you expand your views on blackness, but not seeing it as a definition right, of mm -hmm. blackness. Of We're just right. creating art from right. a black, authentic mm -hmm. perspective that anybody can enjoy because we're all human. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Be nice if you observe the film. Um, go have a great time. Mm -hmm. How? But it'd be nice, you know, if you took a couple gems from the film as well. Right. And it's like, you know, there are instances where there are people who inadvertently contribute to a racist society, given they like to, call, they like to paint all black people with the same brush. Well, here's a canvas. You see seven completely different people from different walks of life, right. different hues of blackness, and we should be treated as such. Like we're not just the token best friend. We're not just the one person that you'd kill in the beginning of a movie. Right. Um, we are, you know, fully fleshed out, multi-dimensional human beings and we should be treated as such. 
I agree, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> we should, it's not something that needs to always be repeated. It should be something that is understood at this point. Yeah, at this point. Um, okay, so finally, uh, how traumatizing has spades been on the black community for this to, <laughs> for this to have happened? I'm a Domino's person myself. <laughs> Easy. We don't have any partnerships. We just count and uh -huh. keep it pushing. How <laughs> traumatizing! It. I don't even play it, so I'm terrified now. <laughs> but I think it's, it's good. It's a healthy. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's healthy in a sense. Get out our frustrations and yeah, learn to work with one another. <laughs> Toxic. And, you know, we, we, Toxic. <laughs> a lot of the toxic shit come out, you know, we can, we can address it at yeah. the space table. It's fun. Address I, it I in therapy. It. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Maybe I'm toxic, but <laughs> yeah. there, there's, been no, there's been no movie without conflict. Right, true. that's true. You need conflict in life sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I mean, it was a genius idea to yeah. create the concept based off of that, basically the game, right? Like, yeah. I mean, like, I think that is another thing that, that speaks to the tone. Yeah. Like, the thing underneath that is something worth talking about, but on the surface, it is silly. Yeah. But once you like, you're, it's an entertaining package. But then once you think about it, you're like, oh, they're actually like, kind of dissecting yeah. something. Like, they're really examining the ways in which people feel like they're not black enough or like right. feel that like oh this action is an indictment right. on my identity when in reality yeah. it's not right um but we wanted to give space to the people who feel that because that is a real feeling that people feel mm -hmm. and then give enough data around it to be like yes we hear your point of view mm -hmm. and then create a heightened version of that to be like see what this can get you if you mm -hmm. leave this unchecked mm -hmm. uh, but present enough points of views to be like that's not necessarily the point of view, that is a point of view point that of some view. people might resonate with. Yeah. And then yeah. here's some contrasting point right. of views. So mm -hmm. do you see how we all have different thoughts? Right. Okay. <laughs> Intelligence I'm is so expanding thoughts, right. I'm so excited to see the conversations around this film yeah, afterwards. Too, Outside yeah. of being, mm -hmm. once everybody's you know calmed down from the excitement and the enjoyment of the film, the conversations that uh, will most likely happen right. about the film. I'm excited too. It's, it's it's super thrilling just to have this type of film come to life based off of all that. It's funny, but it's actually really scary too, because yeah. I was actually terrified. <laughs> but finally, I guess the last question is, you know, what's your favorite scene? You you can either one of you can answer this, or and also how important are survival tips in the melaninated community? We act like we don't hunt and do these things, but you all in the movie showed that there was some survival in you all. How important is that? Well, melaninated people, um, as a standard, we have been taught that survival is something that we had to do. Yeah. So um, it comes as second nature to us. It's something that 100%. we and in our daily lives, like I think we're our awareness of things is more. Heightened. Like there are a lot of things that you're warned about in your youth that could possibly threaten yourself or your anything. personhood. Yeah. 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 Um, based like, on just the color of your skin. So yeah, like if you trained all your life to like know survive karate or something, <laughs> mm -hmm. and you're put in, in an environment, why would you do karate? Right. And if you your entire life you've been forced to survive and be resilient, why would they change? Because yeah. suddenly you're in a horror movie. Mm -hmm. So giving truth to the lived experience been like yeah if you have been if you've studied and trained how to survive mm -hmm. then survival will be easier mm -hmm. and unfortunately there are certain identities who are forced to survive more mm -hmm. than others and mm -hmm. just giving acknowledgement of that is why this movie feels refreshing and that's mm -hmm. why it's interesting to be like oh yeah like this is like mm -hmm. they're we're moving past just being black we're moving right. we're talking about like who are these people what have being black afforded them. Mm -hmm. We can't all die first because you gonna get one of us, but you think the rest of us ain't fighting? Right. And the fact, oh my <laughs> God, not to speak towards the, ah, how can I say what I want to say without speaking towards the end? After those who survive get through the horrific night that they get through, mm -hmm. the thing that they still fear is I mean, the government yeah. in a sense. <laughs> mm. That's deep. Mm. That is a deep perspective. Literally, the, the fear never leaves. Like, yeah. it's, it's through, like, crazy? survival does not mean that like, we want like that the fear has been like cured right now yeah. we still have to look out for those who would have come to save us had we not been who we were mm -hmm. wow dun, 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 dun. the death <laughs> the death i was literally <laughs> thinking that well i appreciate the conversation you all congratulations on the movie i'm so excited for you all and thank yes you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you so much thank you so much it's been nice meeting you